last video I was doing character sports and talking about um, how this let's play is going to be played. So last off we left with Arthur and Kagero and that was funny. We saw some other sports. So today, in this video, we're starting off with Celias and Felicia. Let's see how this funny turn of events is going to play out. No, fuck. This is this is a piece of the chair. Holy fuck. Sorry, I held a piece of the fucking chair. Careful. Steady now. No! Practicing your poise, Felicia? Those poor, innocent teacups. Ah, oh, Master Celias. My apologies. I didn't mean for you to see that shameful display. I shouldn't make fun. You try so hard every day, and I respect that. You came here just to say that? How very kind of you. Well, no. Oh. It's the opposite, actually. There are some worrying rumors going around in the ranks. Hmm, I haven't heard anything. You noticed, I assume, that Dry Crunch has been feeling poorly. Now that I mention it, he has seemed a bit distant. As the rumor has it, it pains me for me to say this. People are wondering if you might be the responsible for his diminishing state. What? You spilled tea on Dry, burnt his food, torn his laundry. The prevailing opinion is in these gaffes are, are taking their toll on Dry. No, but I would never... I'm not saying that I agree with them. I just thought that you should be apprised of what people are saying. <sighs> that makes sense. Thanks for letting me know. Jeez, can these be, like, more fucking heartbreaking? Fucking oh, Christ. Just... Oh, I forgot there's so many. Oh, let me get the old ones out of the way first. Oh, here we go. Obro and Benny. Here we go. Hello, Benny. <gasps> That face again! Huh? Oh, sure enough, that's weird. I thought you said you wouldn't do it anymore once you were used to me. I thought I wouldn't. This is very strange. We have no problem fighting together, so I don't understand what's wrong. For some reason, I j just can't stop. Uh, Benny? Uh, what? Why are you pointing your weapon at me? B because I... Are you actually afraid of me? D -d Don't be silly! Yeah, I know what I, w I was thinking. How could a big guy like you be scared of a little girl like me? Which means, you are going to attack me! No! I swear! Then why is your weapon still out? Um... Put it away! <laughs> yes, ma'am! Now look at me, keep staring until you don't find me scary anymore. You're not scary. Not scary. Deep breaths. Whew, finally back to normal. See? I was right. You were scared of me. I think that's what was setting me off. I'm super sensitive about negative emotions from Norians. Oh. Sorry. It's natural to be scared during combat. But try to keep it together apart from, apart from that. If you can't... I won't be able to help myself. <sighs> Uh-oh. I'm stuck this way again. You're kind of a coward, huh, Benny? Yes, he fucking is. He is a gentle giant. Poor Benny! Okay. Ha Hayato and Ninx. The support A. They're almost hitting it off. So let's see this through. I finished that spell you requested. You know, the one to banish your fear of the darkness? Really? You mean it? I'm so excited. I assumed you would be. Now first things first, go stand over there. Okay, whatever you say. You will feel my magic washing over you. Like a gentle tide. Hmm. It's finished. There's no need to fear the darkness from here on out. But, I don't feel any different at all. Oh, I think you will come 
sunset. Yeah, I sure hope so. Uh, wah! I'm scared. This is terrifying. Oh my, what is that shrieking voice off in the distance? This spell isn't working at all. I've never been more terrified in my life. Why did you play that this devilish trick on me? Stop running your mouth. I did cast that spell on you. But a spell alone isn't simply enough. The rest is up to you and your heart. You have to let go of fear. Only then will it banish from your heart. Oh, that's how it, this works. For someone so powerful, you certainly behave like a baby. You're gifted with incantations and beloved blood by the Wind Tribe, yes? They revere you within the village and hold you in high esteem. I would think you should understand the spell without too much difficulty. You're right. Maybe the darkness is nothing to be frightened by. Not scared. Really not scared anymore. That's amazing. For a moment there, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Listen, I'm sorry that I panicked for a minute before. I really think I'll be fine now. With my phobia conquered, I've finally become a flawless man. <laughs> is that right? I'll admit, you look more handsome now. Confident befits you. Do you really think so? I wouldn't lie. This all happened because of you. I really appreciate your effort. You really took care of me. I was happy to help. Oh, I like these supports. They make me feel bubbly inside. Selena and Tsubaki. Support A. Let's do this. Hey, Selena. I've been looking all over for you. Oh, Sabaki, are you okay? You look exhausted. If I press R, I can see the dialogue beforehand so I can read it. Well, I haven't slept much lately. I've been working on this. What's in that pot you're holding? It's my attempt to make the stew from yesterday. I thought I would give your recipe a try, but the truth is, I failed completely. It tastes and smells like spoiled cabbage. That's impossible. I thought you never made any mistakes. The truth is, I hate to let anyone see me make a mistake. Even with great amounts of practice, I still can't be an expert at everything. Spocky, you mean... I'm not flawless, and I'm certainly not a genius. I just work hard and practice so that people will think I'm perfect. Wow. <laughs> Hey, hold on. It's not very nice of you to laugh right in my face. I'm trying to open up. Wait, are you crying? I'm sorry. It's just that you talked... That that talking to you reminds me of my mother. She passed away some time ago. But like you, she was extraordinary. But like you, she was e extraordinarily gifted. Everyone in town called her brilliant. I see. People have compared her to me, ever since I was little. She was my role model, so I worked so I worked as hard as I could to be just like her. But no matter how many hours of effort I put in, I could never compare to her. Selena, don't say that. That's why I got so competitive with you. I felt like I had to win. I wanted to prove that through hard work, I could best someone like you. But now I realize we're both the same. Precisely. <laughs> it's funny, but I feel close to you right now, and a little relieved. Ha, <laughs> I'm right there with you. It's wonderful to realize we're all really on the same playing field. Next time, I won't hold back on you, Sabaki. You better be prepared. I'm going to beat you during our next competition. <laughs> In terms of sheer determination, I think you're already the champion. Oh, oh, oh I feel bubbly. Oh, oh it's too much. Oh. Oh, oh. Uh. Sorry, I'm making weird sounds. I watched too much Double Artemis. It's a guy watching, he makes some weird fucking, like, 
He's Cell. He's basically Cell. I think he voice acted Cell for Team Four Star, so I think he did. I think he also did Roshi and Frieza because he, he, he sounds exactly like them, which is weird. I think Little Karibo did it, but I'll have to look and who did it. But regardless, Bruka and Saizo. Next video. I'll see you guys later. Check out my other stuff, please. It helps out if you do. And don't worry, there'll be a new Let's Play in your wakes. I will do an update video announcing that Let's Play. So I hope you guys will enjoy that by then. Okay, peace everyone.